Hi, this is Ryan from Scout Air Guns, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to properly remove and reinstall a complete Epic Barrel assembly. As always, make sure your gun is in a safe and off position before you start any work. To better understand how this locking mechanism works, I'm gonna show it to you without the barrel assembly on. In its current state, it's in its unlocked state that you could remove and reinstall the barrel in. From here, uh, if I push down on this thumb screw, it would start ratcheting and locking the barrel assembly down against the breech block. And that's gonna do it in a concentric, even form every single time. Now, to bring it to its unlocked state again, you have to depress the uh, ratcheting paddle and pull up on this thumb screw, and now it's back to its open state. To begin, we're gonna depress the thumb paddle on the right-hand side of the gun near the breech. With that depressed, we're gonna pull up on this thumb screw. Now the barrel's unlocked, I can pull it smoothly and solidly out the front. And that tension you're seeing here is actually a compression O-ring fit to help stabilize the barrel. With the barrel assembly removed, we're gonna look at the components that make up the barrel assembly. You have your moderator, your exterior carbon fiber sleeve. Inside of that, you have an interior carbon fiber sleeve for stabilization, as well as the barrel liner. And lastly, you have the barrel chamber. So let's take a closer look at the barrel chamber to see the features. Uh, you can see there's two wings on it at the top and the bottom. Uh, the top wing is smaller than the bottom wing and that's so that when you slide it into the locking ring, uh, it will actually self-align and you can't put it in upside down. Uh, to go along with that, there is an air port located at the bottom. So the bottom will have the larger wing as well as the air port and that's how you will align it when you reinstall it. Before reinstalling your barrel, you wanna check on a few things. First, you wanna make sure that your locking mechanism is in the upright position. If you just took your barrel out, it will be still in that position, but if you've had it out for a while, your thumb screw might be down, you wanna uh, depress that paddle again, lift that up fully. You also wanna open your cocking handle. What that'll do is slide the probe out of the way. You can reinstall your barrel with the probe there, but it'll create a little extra tension, so I find it easier to do without it. So from now, I'm going to slide the barrel through the o-rings at the front of the gun smoothly slide it back once you get the barrel assembly back to this point you want to stop and make sure it's oriented correctly before proceeding and to do that the barrel chamber actually has a small wing on the top side and on the bottom side there's a large wing and an air transfer port uh, to slide that into the locking ring correctly you want to have that small wing facing up the large ring and air port facing down and slide it into the locking ring. At this time, the barrel chamber isn't fully back into the breech block, so I'm gonna push the barrel back farther. You're gonna see it locate in place. At that point in time, I can actually push down on this thumb screw to ratchet it down and lock it in place. As I do that, the second ledge of that barrel chamber will become flush with that breech block. And to check that you put that in the correct position, you can close your uh, pump handle and your probe will insert into it. And you wanna make sure that both O-rings firmly seat inside of that barrel chamber. Thank you for watching this video and uh, be sure to check us out on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook.